Hi, hello, welcome to a new video. In this video, I will um, explain this interesting article about practice predicting loss of responsiveness when falling asleep in humans. It's a state that we all know. So we, at some point, while when falling asleep, we don't realize that we are getting in such stage of that we lose the responsiveness. Falling asleep is a dynamical process that is poorly de defined. The period preceding sleep characterized by the progressive alteration of behavioral responses to the environment, which may last several minutes, has no electrophysiological definition and is embedded in the first stage of sleep. We aim at better characterizing this drowsiness period looking for neurophysiological predictors of responsiveness using electro- and magnetoencephalography. All the participants were recorded when falling asleep while they were presented with con continuous auditory stimulation and asked to respond to dev deviant sounds. We analyzed brain responses to sounds and markers of ongoing activity such as information connectivity in relation to rapid fluctuations of brain rhythms observed at sleep onset and participant capabilities to respond. And results reveal a drowsiness period distinct from wakefulness and sleep from alpha rhythms to the first sleep spindles, characterized by the very diverse and trans trans transient brain states that come on and off that at the scale of a few seconds closely reflects mainly true neural processes in alpha and theta bands, decreasing probabilities to be responsive to external stimuli. Results also show that the global P300 was only present in responsive trials and regardless of vigilance states, and a better consideration of the drowsiness period through a formalized classification and its specific brain markers should lead to significant advances in vigilant assessment in the future in medicine and ecological environments. So it's interesting. So it is important to predict the loss of responsiveness and it seems they achieved it and, and as a result they found the global P300 was only present in responsive trails regardless of vigilance states. So this is the conclusion of the study. And thanks for watching this video and I wish you find this study useful and you can read a full article after searching this title and wish you have a beautiful day. Bye bye.